हेलो एवरीवन हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू जियो साइंस पॉइंट चैनल आई एम सम्राट साहा टीजीटी सोशल साइंस केंद्रीय विद्यालय मधुपुर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस रूलिंग द कंट्री साइड दिस इज द थर्ड चैप्टर ऑफ हिस्ट्री क्लास एट सीबीएसई सिलेबस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ऑन इट रूलिंग द कंट्री साइड रूलिंग मीन्स ए डिफर वट डज इट मीन Ruling means rule by the whom British who ruled over the country who ruled over our country India the British rule over our country basically near about two fifty years they ruled over India that means in this chapter we will read about the ruling of the British throughout and the starting period of it so there are basically we will discuss it. with the following points first when did the british start their rule they got they actually entered to india as a traders as a trade person and they established later east india company they came to india as a trade person but later watching the resources in india they thought that it will be a good place for them to make a colony so they started their process with the following way they got diwani diwani means royal decree royal decree they got diwani diwani means royal decree a special order given by mughal emperor in 1765 they first they got first their permission of for business by mughal emperor jahangir so they got uh, diwani or royal De decree 1765 and they appointed as the general governor general of bengal at first they appointed as the governor general of bengal and the first governor general of bengal was lord cornwallis who, who made the permanent ceremony we will discuss later they revenue collected they started to collect revenue they started to collect revenue to increase their wealth for the company from gold to silver to revenue 10 million people that means here there there is a key word that means the company started they are collect revenue by importing exporting gold and from silver etc but to increase they thought that to how to increase their wealth they to increase their wealth they started to they know they knew that the main resource of bengal is the agriculture the land that's why they started to capture the land and to increase their revenue from the land and they pressurize all the agriculturers to cultivate more and to give revenue them more as a result when they thought that the agriculturers thought that the farmers thought that how will they pay how could they pay the huge amount of revenue to them as the when the number of quantities of the produce crops are so not so high then how could they pay them so as a result famine of 1770 occurred it's a great famine of 1770 in bengal where 10 million people 10 million people died near about 1/3 of population died in the in this famine then british thought that this pressurized system could not be work more later they changed their process and the how how what was the process what was the change process of them they changed their process to permanent settlement that means in which point need to improve agriculture because due to their pressure the agricultural quality was decreased in bengal that's why they thought that to, they wanted they had to improve their agriculture so in 1793 permanent settlement was done was adopted by the first governor general lord cornwallis and the basic features of it the basic features of it to appoint a zamindar local zamindar who will watch over the land part and they will collect revenue and the revenue was fixed or permanent that's why this system was known as a permanent settlement there was a settlement between the zamindars and the british the british uh, assured the zamindars that they will provide them security and they will provide the part of the revenue to them 
for their own lives. But they have to collect, the zamindars have to collect all the revenues for the British from the farmers. That's why the amount of revenue was fixed and this system was adopted by Lord Cornwallis in Bengal. This system was known as permanent settlement. Later, there was also a problem occurred in permanent settlement after 20 or 25 years. What was the basic problem? In Bengal, as this system, in the previous system, as the famine occurs, as a result, the cultivation was also not so higher. But then how the zamindars could make a huge profit and uh, give the British, give them to the British company? The, the zamindars were also failure. They also became failure and the produ production was not so higher. As a result, they could not also collect the so much revenue from Bengal, but the British got a target to improve their revenue from Bengal by hooks or by crooks. So the problem of the permanent settlement was zamindari system was lost and many lands were lost by the zamindars. Zamindars, their own many zamindars lost their own zamindari system and also they lost their lands. They had to pay the lands to the British instead of revenue. This was a great problem occurred by the permanent settlement. Next, what was when the problem occurs also in permanent settlement uh, due to the loss of lands by the Jamindars, then British thought that they had to change their system to increase their revenue. By hooks or by crooks, anything can be possible. They could realize. So, a new system was devised by them. A new, a devised system, new system was devised by, devised by them. In 1822, Holt Mackenzie selected the revenue by measuring land. That means Holt Mackenzie started a new system in northern and central province. That is, not by hooks or by crooks, not by uh, in, improving, not by arguing huge amount of revenue from all the cultivators, all the farmers. He advised that to measure the land, to measure the land of individual farmer and then select the revenue, not fixed. The revenue was selected by the British Emperor, by the British Empire for the cultivators. This was the new system. That means in the new system in, in 1882, 22 Holt Mackenzie uh, advised to select revenue, not to fix the revenue. The, that means what the due to the selection, the revenue may be decreased or increased due to the uh, with the uh, quantity of land. So this new system was devised. But still British was not happy because they wanted to make India as a colony and as far as possible they wanted to capture their the wealth the resource from India for their own country so they also implemented a new system that was known as the famous system which was implemented in central province northern province and western province of India that was Mahalwari system Mahalwari system Mahal means land Mahalwari means land dependent. It was implemented by Thomas Munro, a British, uh, he was also a British Empire member. Thomas Munro took revenue from cultivators directly. As per the system, what was the basic features? They, there was no middleman. There was no middleman like Jamindars, landlords, etc. No middleman. The the revenues were collected directly from the cultivators and no middleman in northern India and central province. That means the middleman system was eradicated, a new system was imposed in northern and central India as per measuring the land, the uh, revenues were select, was selected and there was no middleman. The revenues were collected directly from the cultivators. And as a result, the revenue, quantity of revenue was also decreased because they had to, the, the British did not, were not paying the middleman any kind of revenue. As a result, it was also make the peasants some better, something better than the previous system. 
but still it was not continued so far then similarly mahalwari system like this system royathwari system was also implemented in southern part of india that means the british started to increase their administration in india in royathwari system what was the system this system and one thing remember this mahalwari system is also known as the munro system it was a famous system at the time uh, royathwari system measuring the land collected from the village headman with his responsibility in india that means there was the simple process measuring the lands here the british collected in mahalwari system the british collected the revenue directly but in royathwari system there was a village headman who was totally responsible for the revenue he collected the revenue of that particular village or the particular area at his or her responsibility if revenues were decreased or increased then only the village headman was was selected responsible for that so british collected the revenue from the village headman and the village headman collected the revenue from the land but still the revenue was fixed based on the land acre or based on the based measuring the land it was implemented in southern india then what was the difference between mahalwari and rajwari mahalwari in north india rajwari in south india mahalwari was implemented by thomas munro and rajwari was implemented also all making in different other headmans and there was no middleman in mahalwari system but in rajwari system the village headmans collected the revenue okay these are the basic differences between mahalwari and rajwari then when these types of systems were implemented and it was continuously going on at the time british also started to capture more and to capture the economy of india they wanted to get to get benefit from indian resources they also import export the silver gold from india to india and they collected revenues like this but later they wanted to fill up their own country's demand from indian crops so crops for euro in this topic indigo cultivation was started in 1789 not only indigo cultivation indigo was came later but before that different types of like kalamkari you will remember this word kalamkari kalamkari still now is it's a famous cloth it was basically formed in andhra pradesh south india with that from different parts different products wheat crops beverages were produced in india huge in a huge amount he also british wanted to make this types of product at their own capture and try to take take this types of product to their own country within a with a least cost so these types of products shun was also started to decrease because their operations and their tyranny also affected these types of production indian weavers indian cultivators cultivators were oppressed by the britishers crops europe then th these types of products were decreased at the time in 1789 in european country like germany france the indigo were was used in a huge amount indigo what for indigo was used to dyeing their white clothes indigos was used but at the time in europe the production was decreased so they wanted to fill their demand from india and they pressurized the cultivators to culti to produce indigo in india as a result from it, it was increased the indigo production was increased from 10% not only increased it was started to also import to Brit export to british uh, british and countries from 10% to 95% from 1788 to 1810 in between these years it was increased from 10% to 95% okay clear when the british started to cultivate blue in india then they turned to india we have already discussed that kalamkari types of crops they started to decrease their production and they wanted they wanted to take these types of crops 
on these these types of clothes to their own country so the how did they do it they did it like turning to india and implementing the two new system of blue production that was niche and royal system or royalty system whatever you can say that means british towns to india and they implemented the two new system that is niche and royal system of cultivation so what was niche system you know niche means own anyone could cultivate their own land by hiring laborers at their own cost and then they will hand it they would hand it over the crops to the british and in the other system in royal system the british could financially support that particular cultivators to cultivate or to produce blue and then the total products were handed over to the british instead of a least cost these two systems were implemented in india but those these two systems also fought the british and against the lower cultivators against the cultivators of india so in these two system when these two systems was implemented and they started to produce their blue why did why did the british started to produce blue instead of kalamkari wheat rice other instead of other products because we have already discussed because the british wanted to decrease their demands to diminish their demands to fill their demands at their own country of that blue so in this two system a problem occurred what kinds of problem occurred problem occurred in niche system that was for crop production crop production problem was occurred because when during which season the blue was cultivated in the same season with crop different types of crops like beverages and rice paddy was also cultivated so laborers were not found so in higher number for cultivating blue because there was not so high wages and the laborers had their also own land for wheat cultivation or for rice cultivation or other beverage cultivation so labor there was a labor problem and capital problem in niche system this was the basic problem of niche system and in royal system there was a problem was new loan cycle this was also a Brit new policy of british when the royals took money or lent money from borrowed money from the british they the british lent them money at a high interest and when they started to pay it the british again gave them a new loan and made them compelled to cultivate blue as a result like the vicious cycle of poverty a new cycle of uh, loan started this was the major problem of these two system niche on royalty system but still instead of in spite of having so many problems the cultivators the farmers were compelled to cultivate blue because we have known that already the british have got the got the royal decree or diwani for bengal as a result what happened the blue rebellion famous blue rebellion in 1859 1859 in march mind it 1859 march the blue rebellion occurred from bengal so many people strictly opposed so many farmers strictly opposed this rebellion and they directly denied the british that they would not cultivate blue instead of low wages throughout bengal throughout india this revolution revolution this rebellion spread the farmers thought that first time the zaminda zamindars will support them but later the zamindars did not support the farmers and thus the blue revolutions revolutions could not get a so large volume but still it was a struck for the british administration as a result the british started to implement a new policy they thought that they thought that this policy would not be continue like this and they could not compel the indians in this way to cultivate blue so they adopted a new kinds of policy and different so many heads of main administration head administration of 
British from England they came to India and gave a new different different types of policies for the farmers. India in 1859 fight revolt when they gave a different policies to India and they gave a new memorandum for Indian cultivators that there was no compulsion of production of blue this was the main theme of that memorandum that there was no compulsion of the production of blue for the Indian cultivators as a result slowly this revolution after this order this revolution was diminished in India and later the British administration they flipped their way they changed their way of cultivation from blue revolution, blue re blue cultivation to another types of cultivation. This blue revolution when occurred, it was lasted, it was lasted up to the Champaran movement in 1920, 19, when Gandhiji came from Africa to India, he first visited to Champaran the to see the clusters, to see the tyranny, to see the oppression of the British on the blue cultivators that means still 1859 still 1788 up to 1915 the blue cultivation was continued in spite of having this kind of blue revolution the British administration changed this way but they did not stop the blue cultivation thus the ruling the, the British administration, administration started to rule in the countryside of India after discussion, we have already discussed that about this chapter. Now, I am giving you a task to find out these answers. That will help you to cultivate this chapter and to find out some information about this chapter. That is, why did the British start to increase blue cultivation? Why did the British start to increase the blue cultivation in India? That means, in India, why did the British start to increase the blue cultivation? Next question, write a note on blue revolution and its effect with collecting information from internet or e-resources. You can also collect information. Of, at first you will read your textbook first and you will hear this lecture. Then whatever information you gather, you must write in your copy. But later, you may take health information from internet or e-resources and you will write this answer in your copy. So, these are the two questions. You write your answer and find out about it. Thank you.